Today is Saturday, September 7, 2019. It's 3.43 p.m. and I'm calling the Human Development Commission, which is associated with DHHS crime victims, something or other. Let's see what happens. Um, yes, ma'am. Um, I was. Are you a, uh, a community action agency? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm a, uh, a disabled senior citizen that's been uh, physically and financially abused, and I was told that I can contact you for help. No, it says I'm looking right at your thing at your brochure. It says elder abuse or exploitation. Yeah, um, I can give you the number to the main center if you'd like. So, open uh, so okay, now, um, so you're saying your department doesn't handle What department does? We have a senior department through um, HCC, which is Human Development Here's my here, here's my situation, ma'am. Uh, I'm uh, I've been abused by uh, uh, Lapeer County DHHS workers who destroyed my home, uh, and um, Adult Protective Services that have covered it up. And I've got to make a complaint against those people. Are you is your department capable of doing that? Okay, because I also I, I just called the I just called nine one one, and uh, it's the problem is is it's Lapeer County nine one one, and Lapeer Lapeer County nine one one did the same thing that Lapeer County Central Dispatch did when I tried to file a complaint against Adult Protective Services Elaine Stoutenberg who lied to the DHHS crisis hotline telling them that I'm in no danger because I've got a grocery store right across the street and I called them for months and months and they never responded and um, I tried to file a complaint with the Elmont Police and they refused to do it because they're covering up for corrupt. Lapeer County government. That's what. That's the problem that I've got, ma'am. And I just called. I just called uh, nine one one, and the lady hung up on me. She said, "Oh yeah, uh, I know you." And, and she said, "You're the one that's always calling and complaining about Lapeer County employees." Now that is, that is not bi that is not unbiased. I, I'm I have I'm in real trouble. That's that's. Can you tell me who I have to go to? I would, oh, I'm in Lapeer County, yes, ma'am. No, she hung up on me. That's a pro I, I'm getting round and I'm going round and round with uh, dis a dysfunctional government that's that's murdering me. Uh, they uh, I call the I call the Elmont police and I call them so many times and they're telling me that everything is out of their jurisdiction, which is which is a lie because they are mandated reporters that have access to the uh, Michigan Adult uh, Vulnerable Adult Protocol, which is which is supposed to work in, in hand in hand with Adult Protective Services and and uh, state officials to identify. Uh, 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 Adults that adults that are in crisis, and it's, and instead uh, they they just ignore me. And uh, it was Elaine, it was uh, it was Elaine Stoutenberg that, that gave the uh, police officer uh, Leo Hager her phone number and said, "Have him call me, I'll ha and I'll see if I can get his house fixed." They destroyed my home. They they installed a water heater that was done improperly by bums that were going out of business that charged the county thirty seven percent higher than going rates, and they did it all wrong at least three times within months. I didn't legally. I am not liable for the contract because I fired them. But uh, no one in Michigan government will look. At my evidence, do I have a do I have a right to to uh, defend myself as my own attorney? I am not qualified to give. Okay, legal well, let me ask. Can, can you do the, Can you do this, ma'am? Uh, will you take my name down? Sure. It's. Okay, and oh, I live in Elmont, and 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 trying to act as my own attorney, trying to act as my own attorney, ma'am. I've okay. I've. I've, uh, I've got over 80 videos on YouTube right now exposing uh, uh, Lapeer County criminal government, and um, that's my evidence. I, I tried to act. I tried to act as my own attorney and go through the proper channels, but there are none. They're just letting people die. I haven't had water in three days. I call. I call the 911 number. And she goes, "Oh yeah, we, we know you. You're the one that complains about uh, uh, all of our employees." And then she hung up on me. What I need you to do is you for yourself, for your own knowledge, so you know who you're working for. You go to my YouTube channel. Elmont Senior, and I've got over 80 videos of, of criminal abuse. Uh, they, they, what they did is they destroyed my house. They left me to, to die without running water since November uh, 2017. I tried every state agency, uh, local police. I, right now, I've got a, I've got a, uh, I'm, I hired a police in, uh, abuse investigator who, who uh, filed a complaint with the uh, U.S. Justice Department uh, right through Debbie Stabenow in, in Washington D.C. for. Uh, uh, 
uh, abuse of a disabled senior citizen. And uh, I can't even, I've tried to call them ever since to have them bring me water. They won't even re return my phone calls. You have to see my videos. I caught them. That's the problem. I caught, I busted the whole, the whole county the, from, from uh, the, the police to the adult protective services to, uh, to DHHS workers that charge, that, that are charging, that charge the uh, taxpayers 37% higher than, than market rates for uh, on a non-competitive bid. It was their buddy. And, and uh, they're related to uh, some other people that work right in that department. They, they force these bums on me that did that did an improper job that leaked three times and destroyed my house, causing fifteen thousand dollars worth of damage, and they've left me to die ever since. And if that isn't a crime, I don't know what is. And I can't get my issues resolved with anybody. That's why you got to go and look look at how criminal that Lapeer County government is, and they're murdering people. Will you do that for me? And then also, I need you to contact Governor Gretchen Whitmer, send her an email, and tell her to look at Almont Senior YouTube channel. Please do that for me, would you? I can do what I can. Okay, so you're going to do that for me or not? Okay. Well, at least you know what I'm dealing with, and you know I'm not lying. Okay. Uh, now, who do I contact Monday? I know. I know, ma'am. I'm being murdered. I haven't had water in three days. I, I I am disabled. I can't walk. They destroyed my house. I don't have running water. The house is uninhabitable because of all the leaks that it caused, and they're just watching me die. I can't get out. I can't walk. I can't do anything. I call for help, and they, and they hang up on me. They're, the government is completely broken, and you're murdering people. How, I don't. I, I have no idea how else. To, how much more clear I can make it. I've got 80 over 80 videos to prove it. That's why the, I can't get it. I'm going round and round and, and corrupt the peer government, and no one's no one's got any responsibility. They're, they're all guilty of gross negligence. The people tell me they're going to bring me water, and then they don't. Then I can make a complaint, and the, and the police won't take the complaint. I, that's why I got 80 videos of these idiots murdering people. You have to you have to understand that and report it. Do you have a phone number I can call you back at? Yes, um, eight one zero. Yeah, I forgot. What's your name again, ma'am? My name is Selena. Selena? Okay, will you call me back? Um, I'm going to talk to my manager. I'm not Do me a favor. Look at my video. I, I, what I, I'm telling you something. I'm disabled. I can't walk. I can't get anywhere. And I haven't had water in three days. I mean, what, are you telling me that that's not a vulnerable adult? And, and the Elmont and the Elmont police are, are mandated reporters that are supposed to report that and, and resolve it. And I've got I've got videos of the uh, Adult Protective Services uh, supervisor. I called him on September 20th, 2018, and I argued with this guy for an hour and a half. Uh, and the guy was drunk. He's going, call that crisis hotline, call that crisis hotline. And then and then I found out Elaine Stoutenberg lied to the crisis hotline and said that I'm in no danger because I've got a grocery store right across the street, which is a lie. The, the clo closest grocery street is a mile away. And in 2015, I broke my collarbone in four places trying to ride a bike to get food. She lied. I don't know why she did that. All she did was set me up to die. And then I called for months and months the crisis hotline. Finally, one of the people told me, they said they did an investigation. They said, oh, yeah, she said that, you, that you're in no danger. And, I, and, I, and they said, well, we'll reset everything. And when you call in, then we, you'll get help. And I called back in, and they, no one helped me. I even called in January, and I gave all this woman all my information. And she, she said, oh, yes, we'll have somebody get back with you for sure within 72 hours. And then at the end, she thought I hung up. And I, you can listen to the video. She laughed at me. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, did you guys hear that? Ha, 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 ha. She laughed at me and never sent help or anything. That's criminal. And that, and that your tax your tax dollars are paying for that, Selena. And do you have any elderly relatives or anybody that that you care about that you'd like to see this happen to? I had a job in 2016. The, the, the department, uh, the, the Michigan uh, Secretary of State, made it impossible for me to uh, to get my license. To they gave me a light, uh, allowed me to buy a car, allowed me to play to pay taxes. Then they said that I couldn't use it unless I paid almost six thousand dollars in sixteen year old driver oversight fees that they later repealed. But in the meantime, I I couldn't take my job and work. So so I was stuck in in. Uh, in my mobile home. I had a buyer from my mobile home. I had a job offer and I had a chance to move to a warm climate on doctor's order. And, and that all fell apart. And, and I applied for help with DHHS, figuring I'd get food stamps or something to, to help see if I can get some help in, in, in trying to resolve my, my, uh, my uh, job issue. And uh, in the meantime, they said my water heater failed. And in January, they installed the water heater. It was done all wrong. It was done all wrong. And, and that's why it leaked. And, that's, and, and I had the Adult Protective Services, eight, eight, my worker, come out and he verified all that. I got a video of it on 8 31, 2017. I said he came out and it leaked and he had the plumber come in and they refused to fix it correctly. And I said, if you don't fix it correctly, it's going to leak. And uh, they, the plumber wouldn't do it. The, the D Adult Protective Services agent told me, hey, I'll take, I, I told him I wanted to file a, a criminal complaint against DHHS workers. And uh, he said he would take me to file that complaint with the Elmont police. And he told me that on 8 31 17. Then, he's, and then later he said, well, I don't have time to do it. Uh, let's do it some other day. And I chased him for a month. I called him almost every day saying, I need to go. I need to go. And then all of a sudden he said, hey, I'm not taking you. You're on your own. And then, then when, the, when my water heater leaked again and I found it, it destroyed my house in November. I called him and he, and he ignored and, and ignored me and it hasn't called me since. And I tried to get a new adult protective services agent and everybody refused me. I mean, this is just a nightmare. It's not me at all. You, that's why I've got over 80 videos. It's, it's corrupt Lapeer government that's, that's collecting paychecks for murdering people. It gets worse and worse and worse and I can't take it anymore. Um, Selena, how long could you last without water? 
I, you have to understand this. I know. Do you understand what they're doing to me? They're murdering me. I'm 68 years old, and, and I, I paid taxes to Michigan all my life, and what they're doing is they're murdering me, giving me no way out, and laughing about it, too. Please, please, please help anybody you can. Anybody. I just, I need help. I haven't had water in three days. Go listen to the uh, 911 lady. Uh, tell me, hey, find somebody to get it for you and hung up on me. Go listen to it. It's right on uh, YouTube, Elmont Senior. I've got over 80 videos. I can't be wrong about all of them. And if they're doing it to me, they can do it to you, too. The, the, uh, the government is dead broke and it's falling apart. It's collapsing. And what they're trying to do is hold it together, pretending that it isn't. And, and they're, they're not giving any services. I caught, I caught Lapeer DHHS falsifying my income by double. And they cheated me out of my Social Security. They did all kinds of horrible things. They're just stealing money from people. They, it was a horrible experience. They, they, uh, they, uh, they, they gave me, uh, 300, in two years, they gave me $330 in food stamps. And they caused $15,000 worth of damage to my house that they won't be responsible for. And I've lived like an animal ever since. And then these people are asking me, like they're, they're, uh, the, the DHA or the, uh, Crisis or the uh, the Lapeer uh, Central Dispatch said, "Oh yeah, you, you've been uh, you've been dying for the last two years, right, right, right." And she doesn't understand. I have to collect, I have to collect rainwater in buckets, and I have to I have to pee in jugs, and I have to poop in, in uh, garbage bags and throw them out. And what what for? I had a job offer. I had all that taken away from me, and they destroyed my house. Now they're leaving me to die, and and I can't even get anybody to bring me water. That's murder. Please please help me, okay. Okay, and and then now, uh, um, what's that? What's that? Should I call you back Monday? Okay, I'll call you back Monday. Thank you very much, Selena. I, uh, please, are, are you religious at all? Th 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 these people are slaughtering Christians. They're murdering me. I, I have done nothing wrong, and uh, I had a job opportunity. I wanted to be self-sufficient. Instead, they, they, they destroyed my house, wouldn't let me work, and uh, they, they left me without running water since, 2000, since November 2017. And that's not criminal. They, I'm not a vulnerable adult. And the, and the Elmont police, when I try to call to make complaints about anything, they say that's not our jurisdiction, which is a lie. Do you know, do you know what, the, uh, what a mandated reporter is? Yeah. That could be a police, right? Okay, do you know what the the uh, the Michigan uh, Vulnerable Adult Protocol is? No, I don't. Okay, that's that's a that's the Bible for what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to report in conjunction with Adult Protective Services and any other government agency, and also to provide some kind of of of, of respite, respite for me. I, I have no way out, and I'm I'm fighting all these different agencies that are doing nothing, and, and I, I I I had a, a job opportunity that I that I that I couldn't take, so I filed a complaint with uh, the Michigan Department of Civil Rights in in July of 2017. They did nothing on the case. And until uh, December 2017 when I made a complaint and uh, my Senator Green complained and got them to open the case up and uh, the, I got, a, I got a, uh, a worker named Charles Archie that sat on my case and did nothing until July when I started making a, I started complaining about him doing things and then he asked me a bunch of he, he uh, uh, sent me a questionnaire and he, he asked a bunch of questions about this DHH issue that I had and I filled out all of the questions and sent it back the next day and I asked him to uh, acknowledge receipt and he never did so I called him for a month and the guy the guy was never around his phone his uh, voicemail I had the wrong date and the guy disappeared in the meantime I I, uh, I found a, a that uh, there's a court of claims that uh, case that I, I asked him to file to forward to the court of claims office for fifteen thousand uh, dollars damages that caused by DHHS workers and a APS workers that destroyed my house if he would have filed all he would have had to do is forward that that court of claims case and, and I, just, I gave it to him August 7 2018 and uh, then I chased him and, he, and when I called him in September he said oh yeah I'm working on everything no problem hey we're gonna do well and, and then I called him on December 28th and I said what have you done in my case what, what's going on what, what are you doing what happened to my court of claims case and he was dumbfounded and he go well uh, uh, I'm closing your case for lack of evidence I go what are you talking about he said well I'm done uh, well we found nothing uh, uh, there is no no uh, no uh, no reason to uh we could do we dismiss your case and, and he was he had 30 days to give me a a reason why he dismissed this case he sent he took 60 days and sent me a cover letter saying we dismissed your case and then when i tried to complain asking uh that it be opened up again i talked to four different supervisors that took all my information saying yeah we're gonna get it open we're gonna check it out and uh I, to this day, no, they just dis, they just they just disappeared, and I call these people 10, 11 times. I call them for a month, and then they, they don't respond. I've got every one of those videos as proof. That's the Department of Civil Rights is completely useless. They 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 uh, I have my civil rights have been violated. My civil disability rights have been violated. Uh, do you know Do you know anything about the uh, ADA guidelines? For Do you know anything about that? Okay, um, the equal access to programs. Um, under ADA guidelines, I am I am entitled to 
an accommodation for removable uh, removal of uh, transportation barriers. I have no transportation, and they've been. They, they. I have a right to transportation because I'm disabled. I can't get places to to access public services without transportation. I don't have transportation, and they. They. Uh, DHHS has been denying that to me since last year, and uh, so has the uh, Elmont Police. So has uh, Adult Protective Services. They say they don't offer that, which is a lie. And then when I tried to file a complaint against those people with the Department of Civil Rights, this guy just disappeared. He, I, he, I couldn't ever get a hold of him. He would never file it. So there is nothing. I've done everything humanly possible. I'm being murdered. You see what I'm saying? Okay, that's all I'm asking. If you if you're a good person and you're uh, uh, you're not a, you're not a criminal, one of these criminals, just please. If you see something, you're supposed to say something, right? I'll tell you one thing. Uh, you're dealing. If you look at, I got eight. I got over eighty videos of a bunch of uh, uh, government workers that are. I mean, that woman that set me up with that adult protective services. She gave. She gave the Elmont police uh, her, her phone number. And said, "Hey, I'll help them out." And then I called her eleven times. And then she said, "Here." She left a message. Call the crisis hotline. And then I call the crisis hotline. No one. No one responds. And then I call her back. And she said, uh, "Left a message. Call my supervisor." I called David Lynch on nine twenty. The guy was drunk, and I argued with the guy for an hour and a half. He's gonna call that crisis hotline. I go, "I did. I did." Well, keep calling him. And then, uh, and then I got. I, I got upset and I called the Elmont police officer Leo Hager and I said look I've been calling this number and and I there's there they don't respond he said keep calling keep calling I said I'm being tortured to death I, I, do you agree I'm being tortured to death and he hung up on me that's those are all videos those are all videos that I've got as, as evidence if I'm if I'm a if I have the right to be my own attorney that's my evidence that I want in a legal court of law not in a kangaroo court internal MAHS internal court that that covers up for DHHS uh, uh, gross negligence right Okay, I'll call you back. Uh, uh, you in at nine o'clock? I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to my supervisor and see what Okay, just understand. Uh, how long could you live without without water? And I'm uh, I've been I can hardly talk right now. Uh, I'm being murdered, and they're hoping that I die. Do you understand that? And I, I've got eighty some videos. Take a look at me calling the calling the, the police. They, they the, how could the police re refuse to respond? <laughs> they're first responders that don't respond. They I call them I call them and they I call them uh they I've contacted them for a week and they haven't responded one time. That's the police. No, no. I called. I called directly to the Elmont police, and I sent them. E I sent them emails. I sent. They. They. Uh, I. I had a, a police. Um, a, a police abuse investigator that I hired. That that uh, for that gave me a form that that uh, he forwarded to Debbie Stabenow in Washington D.C. A Justice Department claim against uh, uh, Elmont police, and I was instructed to send them a copy and assure that they got it. So I sent them a copy, and I said, "Please acknowledge receipt." And that was on the first. And I have, and then I wrote back to him, uh, and I included one more police officer, I believe, two days later, and I said, "Please acknowledge receipt." And they never re acknowledged receipt. And then I tried calling uh, uh, Chief Andy Martin, and uh, left a message a couple days ago, and. And I said, I need to talk to him. And I, and I said, she said, what's it about? And I said, well, it's about the fact that he's a mandated reporter. And I sent him a definition of exactly what, what it is. They're all saying it's not my job, it's not my job, and it's, it's beyond our scope. And so I sent him, I sent him an email with, with I actually I sent him a video uh, where I actually uh, showed it and spelled it right out that he's a mandated reporter, that he's supposed to be reporting this stuff, and he never responded. So, I mean, either the government, they, uh, these guys either got caught and are just aren't answering their, their phone or uh, or just are ignoring me and I, I don't know if Debbie Stabenow is going to act that fast on this situation. I haven't seen anything yet, but in the meantime, I've been out of water for three days, Selena. Can you imagine having to go to the bathroom without a toilet? And I've been doing it for almost two years. It's horrible, and I've been tortured to death with, and they're doing it on purpose, hoping that I die. And that's because they're dead broke, and they rather than fix my house, and, and it would cost them fifteen grand to fix it, or even less. All I, all they would have had to do is is uh, make it whole. If they have these guys fix it, they got all these these uh, Habitat for Humanity guy came out three times, but didn't do a damn thing. All they would have to do is fix it, and and uh, we would have been done. But instead, they can't. They don't want anybody to know that they screwed up, and they they're they're guilty of gross negligence. So because I can't afford an attorney, they're just ignoring me, and that's why I documented everything. I got them all. I, got, I busted every one of them. But, so please just uh, trust me. I'm not. Do I sound like I'm saying? Well, I mean, I, you got to believe that. Even if you don't believe I'm saying, go look at my 80 uh, evidence videos that that prove it. That prove that that I'm I'm not I'm not lying. I'm just I'm stressed out to the max. How long can you live without running water? And I, I I'm disabled. I can't even walk. That's what I'm saying. They they gave me no way out other than death. And the, what they want me to do is commit suicide, and I won't do it. And uh, and that's why they, they they're sitting just it's a waiting game until I finally something bad happens. I'm 68 years old. This is uh, this is it's felony torture. I've got you take a look at all the I've got 179 pages of legal precedents that nobody will deny. All they do is ignore me. How can I act as my own attorney if I show my evidence and it's being ignored? That's not that's not a, a, a legal system. It's it's a a, a a kingdom, and it's Nazi Germany. I'm just being murdered with no way out.
So if you, I'll, I'll probably, I hope you understand a little bit better about, about my situation, Selena. Please go to that website, YouTube, uh, Elmont Senior. I've got over 80 videos. I, I can't be lying about all of them. <laughs> Trust me. I'm trying to do my best. All I'm trying to do is survive. And I'm not suicidal. That's what makes them, that they, they don't know how to deal with me. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye now.